Hello, friends. I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his jurisdiction is global. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him? He's God all by himself. He's mighty in wisdom and there is no one like unto him. Father, we want to say thank you for a new day. You are beautiful and you are beyond description. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. You are the fourth man in the fire. The beauty of Zion. The one who rose from the dead and conquered global pandemic. There is no one like you. You conquered the power of the grave we bow and we prostrate we join the 24 elders in the throne room and we want to say father thank you we worship you we glorify you you are awesome in all your ways thank you our god thank you for the privilege of oh god to come into your presence sweet holy spirit we welcome you to this new day and we want to say we love you you are beautiful you are beautiful beyond description blessed be god for we worship with thanksgiving in Jesus' name, amen. Today is the 194 of Spirit Praise, and Spirit Praise comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God all day. So briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from Revelation 20, verses 12 to 15. And the Bible says, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Friends, listen. I came this morning to encourage you in whatever you are doing with yourself on this side of eternity, ensure that your name is in the book of life. I say that again to you, ensure by all means that your name is in the book of life. Why did I say so? Because a day is coming when you will stand before God, when I will also stand before God and books will be opened and another book will be opened. Now listen, family friends will not be there. Your husband will not be there. Your wife will not be there. Son, daughter, father, mother, granny, <laughs> grandchildren, mention them, cousin, uncle, church members, classmates, colleagues, pastor, evangelist, I mean apostle, general overseer, and everyone you know will not be around you. <laughs> you will solely stand before God all alone, not based on your achievements, or the number of certificates you have, or the number of children, or number of cars, or the level of your wealth, your power, or political position, or social influence, I mean the number of followers on social media, and the rest of them. The size of the cathedral you built for the people will not stand, including the number of times you were in church. No. Friends, our text says we will stand before God to face his judgment. Am I scaring you? No. Now I remembered my youthful days when I hadn't given my life to Jesus. I used to be scared of eschatology, especially the book of Revelation, because it talks about the second coming of Christ and the judgment day. <laughs> but today, <laughs> glory to Jesus, those fears have disappeared because now I'm a child of God, forgiven, living by grace, washed by the blood, <laughs> making disciples for Jesus, and daily getting ready for the master's return. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if you are not born again, this verse will scare you. If you are still living in sin and doing job for Satan, this portion of the scripture must surely scare you each time it is read. So I encourage you to make peace with God today and begin the new life in Christ by adjusting your lifestyle to live to please God on a daily basis so that you can avoid the impending judgment. Now listen again, from our text, books were opened, which means not one book was involved, but there were other books that were opened. And the Bible says, the dead, small and great, were judged according to what was written in the book. Awesome. Now listen to this. That is to say, even if you say you want to die now and die in your sin, on that day they will raise you up to face judgment. So the truth is, everything doesn't end when you die. 
In fact, the beginning of the journey commences at death. That is the truth. So I encourage you to do everything about it and maximize every opportunity you have here. Now the Bible recorded, they were judged according to what was written in the books based on their works, which means whatever you are doing now must surely count on the day of judgment. Come on, including your works in the secret and in the open. Every bit of your activity here on earth is going into record and book and books must surely be open. Am I scaring you? I know I'm not because that is the scriptures. Look at verse 13. It says, The sea gave up the dead in them, and all that the sea swallowed had to be vomited to face the judgment of God. Death and hell delivered up the dead that were in their custodies so that they could face judgment according to their works when they were here on earth before the change of residence to hell. And all were judged. And then the procedure continued. Look at verse 14. It says, Death and hell were cast into the lake of fire which is the second death. And finally, verse 15, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. I'm sure some people will not like to hear this. <laughs> Come on. But the truth is that heaven and hell are real. And like I always say on this platform, whichever one you choose, there is need to work hard in preparations for it. Because if you miss heaven, you cannot miss hell. And as a matter of fact, no one can escape this judgment we are talking about, whether by death or by being drawn by the sea. Because the sea too will vomit their dead so that they can face judgment. Now listen as we pray. Hellfire is a terrible place. It is better imagined than experienced. And the worst is that the flames will burn forever and ever. Even the plea for mercy will be meaningless because the days of mercy would have expired. The normal ringing tune available in hell is had I known. Ha, friend, ha, I came this morning to encourage you ha, to make adequate preparations ha, to scale through the impending judgment by fully surrendering your life to Jesus, ha, not one leg in Christ and then one leg with the devil. Determined to live every day to please God and to make Jesus known to the lost. It is my sincere prayer to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that the Lord will help us to make heaven at last. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. I would like to pray for someone who has listened to this broadcast and you know you are not born again. Hear me again. Heaven and hell are real. If you miss heaven, you cannot miss hell. So if you are a sinner or a backslider, quickly say this prayer after me. My Father in heaven, I come to you this morning. I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. Give me the power and the grace to live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for serving me. In Jesus' matchless name, we prayed. Amen. Since let's pray. Let's go. Let's go in the Holy Ghost. Oh God, help me. <laughs> Make me ready for your return. Somebody help me pray in the Holy Ghost. Make me rapture ready. Line kala gada da mos indra kala gada da boshanda. Rakia kaga da balige de de lige de. Zine kala gada da mos indra kala gada da boshanda. Rega da da bos inde rega de de lige de. Zuno koro koro da boshi kala gada da boshanda. Rega de de lige de. Now receive the mantle of holiness on this altar this morning. Line kala gada da mos inda kali ya kaga da balige de de lige de. Zukoro koro da boshanda. Rega de de lige de lige de. Now listen to. Me, you can't miss heaven. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Zikalagada da bus in the ragada da bus and terigede delegate. Zukoro go to the bus and terigede delegate. Zuno koro go to the machine. Akalia kagada baligede delegate. Build up your spiritual capacity on this platform this morning. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Zikalagada da baligede delegate. Oh God, make me rapture ready. Somebody pray. Zikalagada da bus in the karagada da bus and terigede delegate. Zina kalagada da bus in the kalagada da bus. Zina kalagada da bus in the kalagada da bus and terigede da bus in the terigede delegate. Zuko Koro 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 boshi antara ba 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 legede delegede zukoro koro koro boshi kala kala da boshi lande legede da boshi inde legede delegede zukoro koro koro boshi antere legede delegede zine kala kala da boshi indra kala kala da boshi ande legede delegede God the grace to live holy line kala kala da boshi inde kala kala da boshi inde legede delegede zukoro koro koro boshi inde legede delegede zuno koro 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 boshi antere legede delegede zine kala kala da boshi indra kala kala da boshi ande legede da boshi inde legede delegede zikara kala da boshi antara ba kora ba sina kali ya kala kala ba legede delegede Lord, we give you all the glory. <laughs> we give you all the praise. We give you all the dominion. We thank you, our Father. We bless you, the soon coming King. 
thank you, O God, for the garment, O God, <laughs> of rapture ready you are releasing upon everyone on this platform this morning. <laughs> Blessed be God. Thank you, O God, for the grace <laughs> to be ready for your return. <laughs> Thank you, O God, for the grace to be ready for your return. Resting upon everyone listening to this broadcast at this moment. Be thou exalted, my Father, and blessed be God. And I declare and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that by the reason of your listening to this broadcast this morning, you shall not miss heaven. It shall be heaven at last. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Father. And blessed be God. <laughs> Reign forever. <laughs> the soon coming King. And blessed be God forevermore. For we prayed with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Go rule your day in partnership with the Holy Spirit. <laughs>